Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Naomi and thanks so much for clicking to watch another video. All right y'all, so today I'm going to show you guys how I achieve a low ponytail. My hair is not retwisted. I'm probably not gonna retwist until we hit two years in November. Um, but yeah, my hair is not retwisted so I'm starting on some pretty puffy roots but I'm gonna do a low ponytail and I wanna try to do like like add a little pizzazz to it instead of just being like a straight back ponytail. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I'm starting off by separating these two locks in the front because I feel like I always wanna have something down, like, I don't know. Um, I don't like having my hair like pulled all the way back, like all of my hair pulled back. So I'm gonna leave these two um, locks out in the front and then I'm going to do some like basket weave, type of twist things. I really don't know what to call them, but um, you guys will see. I do this like all the time. You guys will see when I start doing my hair, but I'm just sectioning my hair off kind of in half. So as you guys know, or if you are new to the channel, you might not know, my hair is like split, or not split, but there's like a part um, that goes like across the middle of my head that way. So that's basically how I'm splitting my hair roughly so i'm gonna I split it in half just like this so i'm just gonna take a um like a this is a long headband but i make it like what i use to put my hair in a ponytail so i'm just gonna put the back portion in a ponytail just so i won't get confused and i want to get it out of the way and then now i'm gonna work in half so here's the middle of my head where my middle part is and so I'm gonna take remember leaving these two out I'm gonna take this half of my head and split it in half this way as in half as I can get it now I'm just gonna lay that off to the side like that and then I'm going to take my handy dandy brush <laughs> and just kind of brush this backward just so it's a little bit smooth and then I'm going to go ahead and start twisting like this portion. So what I normally do for these twists is I take two at the very front. So two locks at the very front and then I twist those together. Just like that. And then I'll start taking a lock from each side and basically like going over it. So I think it's called a basket weave, basket weave style. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I do. So I take a lock from one side, go over, and then I take a lock from the opposite side and then cross it, like cross it on top. So I'm just gonna do that all the way back. And this doesn't take that long because <laughs> the piece that I'm like the section that I'm working with is pretty pretty short so there's that so those are done so as you can see this is kind of how it looks it just looks like a piece that's I don't know pulled back and then I'm just gonna add that to the ponytail that I have back here just to get it like out of my way so I'm gonna do that and I'm pretty much gonna do the same exact thing um three more times so I'm gonna make sure I get back to this half, again, leaving this piece out. I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I'm gonna just brush, kind of brush the top of this and smooth it back as much as I can. And then do those, the little basket weave twist again. So taking two pieces in the front, twisting, 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 like that. And then taking a lot from this side going over lock from this side going over and just repeat until I get to the back all right so this is the last one right here it's pretty easy so you can see how those two are looking and then I'm going to again add that to the back here and then I'm just gonna do the same thing to this side of my head. Alrighty, so I'm coming back with all of the twists kind of done. I just um, undid the ponytail in the back that I had. So I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna do like a low-ish kind of like middle ponytail. So I want the ponytail to hit about right here in my head. So all I'm doing now is pretty much gathering up the rest of my locks that are in the back 
And I'm gonna take my brush again and just brush the back of my head going upwards. And since there's like a lot of hair in my hands, I can very rarely like grab them all at once. So it takes me, it takes me a little minute <laughs> to get them like all in place how I want them to be. And I think I pretty much got it, kind of. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I got it. This is probably as good as it's gonna get. So now I'm gonna take that, this long headband thing again, and I twist it in half. I twist it to make it shorter. So, so now we got it looking like that. And then I'm just gonna put it over top of my head, just like this. I guess I could turn around so you guys can see what I'm doing, but I just have all of my hair in a in one hand, and then I'm just making a ponytail. And I usually twist it once, so then pulling it over this one time, pulling all my hair through, and then there we go. So I usually pull, um, like gently pull my locks like out, like down, because a lot of them are kind of like stuck, especially the ones like right here. I'm just pulling them, um, pulling them through, not really trying to pull it too tight, but I'm just pulling them through just to make sure that they're just not crumbled in the middle of the ponytail and also to like show the true length of my hair because <laughs> it does make it a little bit longer when you pull them out not pulling hard or anything like that I'm just kind of pulling it until I feel like I can't pull it anymore so that's about how much I do it okay so now that that is all done just making sure to pull that out. This is the point where I will go back in and I'll spray my hair with like some type of like either like rose water or like the um the hydration mist I've been using. And I'll like spray it and then I'll put a scarf on it just to lay my hair a little bit flatter. But today I don't really care that much. <laughs> I do not care that much at all. So I'm not gonna do that today. But that's optional, like if you want to do it. Okay. So, I left these two out and whew, like some arm work. Whew, okay, so that is how the hair is looking. I'm making sure, again, just making sure that I pulled all of my locks into that rubber band so nothing's coming undone. All right, so that is that. Like I said, you can leave these two. If you want to, like you can retwist. Like I lightly retwisted this one because this one like was like really, really puffy. So I lightly retwisted this one so it wasn't looking like it didn't get out of hand. <laughs> so yeah, here is how it's looking like. Here is the side of you. Like I said, you can tie it down if you want to to make it a little bit flatter. But this ponytail is low enough for me. And here's the back. You can see the twist a little bit feeding into the ponytail. And then another optional thing that you can do is you can take like one of your longest locks from like the ponytail and then you can take it and wrap it around that rubber band or whatever you use to secure your ponytail if you don't want the ponytail holder to show. So if you wanted to make it look like you just like wrapped your locks around the um, the ponytail to make it a ponytail, then you can definitely feel um, free to do that. I do that sometimes. I just find like a super long lock or one where I can wear like it makes it like majority of the way around the ponytail holder and then I just kind of like tuck it into the ponytail holder so you can definitely do that as well I don't um feel like doing that right now but yeah you can definitely do that as well I wear this hairstyle when I want like my hair out of my face instead of it just being like in my face in the way especially when I'm about to cook or clean or something like that um, if I'm cooking, I'll probably like put these two back as well just to have my hair completely out of my face. But um, yeah, especially like I said, when it's hot, 
you kind of want your hair up um we're getting into the colder months so i'm probably going to start back wearing my wraps because i haven't worn those in forever but um this is just like for the times when i just don't want my hair on my neck or either in my face or in the way i just kind of want to pull it back but i still want to look cute at the same time if you do plan on trying out this style go ahead and let me know in the comments or if you tried out already go ahead and let me know how it went for you but other than that that's all i have for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you're not subscribed already make sure that you hit that subscribe button and give this video a like if you enjoyed it but i will see you guys in my next video bye